Four months ago, local fisherman Pung San was surprised to hook one of these rarely seen giants. For people here, such a huge fish is a potentially lucrative catch. What happened, the stingray came to the, to the side of the river and then wouldn't come any further, actually, basically got buried in the mud. So what he had to do was actually get in the water, and it was about chest deep, and then completely go underwater with a rope, feed the rope through the spiracles, the water intake of the stingray, not the rope. He'd managed to pull it off the bottom, and it was actually as it rose in the water that he then felt this, this pain. The wound was actually just numb to start with. And then just this incredible pain, and in fact, so painful that he collapsed from the intensity of the pain and actually had to crawl the remaining distance to the house. This was something that wasn't going to go away on its own. It did need urgent medical treatment. As he races for help, Hung San continues to bleed heavily and almost passes out with pain. With no antidote available, his chances of survival are anyone's guess. By the time he arrives for treatment, his condition is deteriorating fast. What happens at the medical center? His heart rate spikes alarmingly, and despite anesthetic, he remains doubled up in agony. The wound, in fact, is no more than a glancing blow. And yet the pain proves so intense that Pung San is unable to work for the next four weeks. He still has the very barb that impaled him. Can I have a look at that? Right. Well, seeing that really does concentrate the mind. Absolutely vicious point on that and these horrible barbs down the side. And I think, uh, you know, this is a fish I've got to really treat with some respect. Evidently, even a quick jab from this fish can land you in serious trouble. Whatever it contains, the venom seems every bit as potent as in marine stingrays. I've never like this in my life before. It's what they call a Queensland groper. This one's none too happy to see me. 